Hey there everyone, this is Shaggo, and if you can hear a fan running, then I've got the fan mark that running, so I think this is Melton Slag whilst I'm recording this. Uh, welcome back to Sun Generations, in the uh, last episode we went through this train wreck, Crisis City. I still struggle with the uh, perfect in that one, I mean I have done it before, but, uh, oh, horrible. And um, this uh, episode we're going to some a uh, little bit better, a bit better looking as well. If, uh, I have to say. Uh, we're going to rooftop run from uh, second leash. Which was uh, by most majorities a much more fun uh, game than Psycho 6 was. Uh, some might complain a lot from uh, the Warhog stages, but uh, I've never really complained. I don't really have any complaints about the Warhog levels apart from the fact that they're too freaking long. And, well, Eggman Land, which, I'll be honest, I've only ever played the, um, the HD version, the, X the Xbox 360 version of the, uh, right. uh, the Xbox 360 version of the Second Leash. And I know for a fact that uh, Eggman Land in that game takes, like, uh, so freaking long when it's not funny. And that literally it takes like the best part of an hour just to even get through that. And then after that you've got to do the uh after after that it's both the uh, egg dragoon and the final boss fight. I can guess what it can I? Not without the uh Not without help from the lightning shield which I lost. And now I'm just losing my rings left and right. And then just, yeah, that's nice section. Going to the robot. It was me thinking that this would be a bad train wreck train as crazy as it started to be that way. Upper route is a red star rank. Oh yeah, I don't really need to worry about that. I don't know. Oops. That was my fault. I'm obviously bad at Sonic. Especially since all I do all day is to run to Banex. That's what I want to do. And here's some of the main gimmick of this old barrels. Uh, you don't want to run into them because they hurt. And I want to run the other way. You just have to be as fast as possible and uh, try not to get scuffed by battles. Fortunately, these barrels will also uh, push respective things that have to be in the way. I believe. Yeah, well, I believe. Not sure if that was actually worth it or not. But, uh. I'm trying to find out anyway. Uh, I need to be on. Um, I think we can be on this platform here. There we go. And we can actually push that and kill all these. And then we'll just run behind them, just make sure all the rest of them die. Probably shouldn't have jumped there because uh, that was silly. On the plus side, I've got my life to shit back, so uh... Oh, there's that, I suppose. Nearly got crushed by the barrel. It's a little good there. Let it go past. Sprint. Alright, lightning shot. Right now, how are you supposed to do this properly? You run through the barrel and then you grab that. Also, there's one of Eggman's battleships there, I believe that. I think, isn't that a reference to Fire Battery? I don't know. It might be actually. It wasn't surprising. I 
gonna go to this upper route and with uh, clever timing I should be able to uh, and either skip a vast majority of the level, which I kind of have done. Pretty great. All these things. I don't like these things. They can shoot lasers and they kill my lightning shield. And you can't uh, kill them. This is one of those places where I would love the lightning shield because it's mainly platforming. Having the second jump would be nice. Well, I know these platforms aren't going to cooperate, so you know what? That's what you're supposed to do. The main goal here is to uh, not get hit by mines. I will kill you and then. I will kill this thing here. Right, objective is to get into the middle of the landing mark. I've got to wait for the hands of time to actually come round. Hmm, I think I want to go to the top one. I'll Starring there, I did not know that. Hey, you wanna go in there and then just spin that shit too? Oh. You actually need to hold it for that one now and just smash it up. But yeah, you kinda crush everyone's little flagship there and. Go with and just destroy it and. Uh, you can just like rush through the boss bit. So you're thinking 6 minutes 30 is a long time for a stage, then um, it, you don't, uh, you're not going to like the next, uh, well, well, not the next level I'm going to be playing in this video, but the next next level after the top run, if you know what I'm talking about. going to spoil it for you, and it West takes a long time. I mean, it's not as uh, it's not as bad as like my land from Psych Unleashed, but uh, yeah, it is pretty long level. There are some lot change of iron music, but uh, I don't really want to do that. I might do it for one of the challenge dates actually because I feel like it. But I guess. I do love that I can actually get. Uh, Time for blast off, right? Now, this level really does play a lot. What I like about this level is that it really does play a lot like uh, Rift Chapter and Stage Stage and Sanctuary for the most part. Except the, with the exception of the bomb attack physics in this game are a lot better than they are in uh, Sanctuary. I saw a few things I can actually do better about aside from maybe the Warhog levels take being a bit longer than two. I actually I actually didn't mind them since uh, I kind of like uh, that sort of gameplay. Like the Warhog actually just right, it's just like everything took too long. Uh, I wanna dash through this. I was gonna dash through it anyway, but sorry. I need to dash here and I'm going to use flash tap to not do that. That's me being completely stupid. I'm upset all of a sudden, I don't know why. Uh, actually, I know why. I'm kind of like dying. I remember this section, there's a huge shark that you can fight with the wild jump. Which I just mess up doing. Basically, you go for the, uh, the red starring, which is the gap. 
I need to go through the top route. I basically avoid having to do this. Rubbish. And now we go to another thing which uh looks a little bit uh People are familiar with Sonic Unleashed. Uh, it's those laser robots. What they usually do is that they actually try and get at you with, uh... A laser session, buddy. I, I don't think it was that bad. In fact, I don't really remember Unleashed that well, I'll be honest. Because I've, uh, I've played it the longest time. I should probably try and grab a puppy. Like... From a pre-owned star or something. Um, let's see. Yeah, Red Star, that's all. Awesome. That was really worth it. And there was that, really. So. Uh, and there was that, that was just stupid problem, Shaggy. You're truly that good at Sonic. Oh, then again, this is somewhere I can just. The game really wants you to use um, the drift there, but it was actually a uh, rally from the shoes. And I suppose stuff out of a ride with uh, boundaries. You can go over the you can actually go for the um, head to the right there and kill some enemies. Oh, that is this bit now. Uh, what you're supposed to do is supposed to not get enemies into it. You've also got to be quick, quick witted there to get that to red star. I believe that's the last one actually. I also can't remember if there's an achievement for. Um, Killing the uh, flying battery there, but it can be done if you um, bash it with you enough uh, enemies. Anyway, those laser sections. The I don't think there were that many of them in Unleashed. You know, I'm not really. Uh, I have very little memory of the game, and I probably should go back and play it again. To be honest, uh, just to remind myself. But those sections with the robots with the lasers trying to shoot at you, and you have to use the um, Flash that they were actually a lot more common in Sonic Colors, and they were annoying. But uh, that's just me and my sort of things for Sonic Colors. So I digress. While beating uh, both rooftop Bronacks, uh, we save a character that wasn't actually in Sonic Unleashed. No, seriously. Um, there was only three Sonic characters in uh, Sonic Unleashed, as far as I know. Uh, it was just Sonic Tails and Amy, and we've already seen those three. Thanks, Sonic. You know, I got a hunch someone or something is controlling that I monster. agree, Vector. I certainly agree. Mainly because I've played this game before, and uh, hmm. I, know what's, I know what's going on, but yeah. It's a lot of foreshadowing, though, just to point out. But, yeah. I don't really have anything else to say, so, uh... Next episode, we're probably going to be taking on the longest song in the game. Ciao! Sonic. You know, I got a hunch someone or something is controlling that monster. Hmm.